Hi Pisces, welcome to your May How They Truly Feel next move in Love Messages Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're looking at your situation no matter what it may be and then we'll see how your person's feeling about the situation between you, whatever's going on, how they're truly feeling about you, what their next move may be and what they truly want to say to you, or what you need to know. All right, Pisces. Now, if you're really not interested or you got negative feelings towards this person, then it may not be a reading, depending on what comes out. Don't twist it to try to fit it either. All right, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. It can be a reading for you. So welcome in Pisces. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, let's see. We have 17, which would be 8, which would be infinity, maybe past life, action, travel, movement, putting in the work. Our Lady of Truth. So some kind of truth going to be uh, told here. Our Lady of blessing bestowed we have 26 which is another eight so there's about a blessing and we have red here which is like deep love emotions and feelings so somebody could be confessing their truth our lady of radiant grace so we have 33 you wouldn't reduce three so um 33 so threes are about growth expansion building i definitely feel like you radiate this essence about you and they really see you as someone very poignant graceful elegant um in their eyes I'm not saying that you aren't but in their eyes definitely and we have our lady of this of sacred sisterhood 31 which is four four is about stability foundation so we have three four that's progression and we have two eights so 88 may be some sort of uh, significant number 348 I don't know if that's a number for anyone <laughs> just that kind of came out here so sacred sisterhood definitely is about connecting they may feel like you're part of their soul tribe uh, their family well that'd be kind of weird but like they definitely feel like a kindred connection to you like maybe like they feel like they've known you forever and like you've been a part of their life forever maybe in past lives as well I'm definitely feeling like they, <laughs> I can kind of hear them saying, oh, I bet, I, I feel like we had a past life together. It's kind of what I feel here. If they believe in that, of course. So they feel like you are, you are a blessing and they want to tell you this truth about the, just the elegant energy they have about this, about you and how graceful and beautiful you are and how sacred the connection is and how much, they feel like you have this sacred soul bond. Maybe, you know, definitely past life energy is what I'm getting. All right, Pisces. So let's see what's going on for you. Let's see. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there as well as the list of eight love readings I do here per month. So if you are new here, you can check that list out. See if you like anything else I do. And if you like general readings, check out my other channel. That is below as well. Two generals per month per sign. All right, Pisces. Pisces. So let's see. Let's see what your situation is. What's going on? We'll look at the situation first. And I'm, I'm feeling like um, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. This could be kind of a newer connection. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we get here. Three of Pentacles, growth, expansion. Ace of Cups, yeah, brain of beginning in love. I felt like this was a newer connection here. Page of Pentacles, real tangible communication. Five of Swords and the Knight of Cups. I feel like this person doesn't want to do anything to ruin this. Not that they would, but um, this Knight of Cups could be you, Pisces. I mean, for me, it's Scorpio, but it could be you. They really want to court and date, get to know you. They want to offer that feeling. Maybe they don't even want to tell you that this person could be in love with you already. <laughs> Maybe they don't want to tell you that. They want to try to let it build and grow naturally. Uh, maybe you've only been on like three dates or something like that, or you've only known them for three months. But it's like, 
if I tell Pisces that I'm like totally in love with them already, I don't want to scare Pisces away. I don't want to ruin a good thing. So, and maybe you've, you're feeling like they're holding back, like they're being reserved, holding back, and like you could be questioning why. So that could be why you're uh, here watching this. Page of Pentacles definitely um, is a solid energy here. And it's about the real tangible things in life, talking about what the real things. It's not fluff. So, hmm. Now that three with the ace here, if you did subtract that, that would be the two of pentacles. So they're up and down about this. They're not sure if they should tell you or not or wait it out. Um, that would be the four of pentacles, which can also be about holding back. Wow, they really want to manifest this. <laughs> the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. Six of wands. Wow, they feel like this could be really something great here with the six of wands as well i think they're ready like they're ready to transform this connection into a deeper connection with the death and the page of wands here hangman it's like they're ready to go all in here with the hangman reversed wow and that is you pisces so they definitely thought about it here and i feel like they're ready to go all in here but they're not ready to totally illuminate that yet with the sun reversed but you definitely fulfill all their wishes here and you definitely check all their boxes kind of what i'm feeling Oh, all right. So let's see. We have uh, Capricorn, and that could be Scorpio or Pisces. So that's the situation. So if you're like, well, I feel like they're holding back, and, you know, that's why. <laughs> like, you feel like there's more here, but they're being, you could be like, oh, they're being resistant, holding back, and maybe you're taking that as a red flag. But I think it's opposite of what you're thinking. All right, so let's see here. Um... How they're feeling about this? What else they're feeling about the situation here? Oh my god. See, temperance just popped out. So they definitely feel like you're their soulmate already. They feel like you're you're their soulmate already. Temperance here is soulmate activation here. But they're holding back that you fulfill all their wishes. I just, just said that. Wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy, soulmate alignment with this temperance card, patience, healing, balance, being very patient waiting for the right energy to know, okay, I'm going to just tell Pisces, so they're holding back right now. Wish dream come true. The Nine of Cups. Could be past life connection here. Yeah, they're a little nervous, a little nervous to tell you that. Again, because they don't know. It's like you're maybe you're both in the same energy here. Emperor, wow, it's divine masculine energy here, just saying. Divine masculine or feminine, whatever it is for you. This is someone who is in control. They know how they feel. They know what they want. They want you. They know how they feel about you. They really want to go all in and tell you, but they're being a little held back right now because they don't want to ruin it. The Five of Swords there. Because the Five of Swords is well aspected with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So they have good intentions. They just don't want to ruin, ruin it by coming forward too soon. Because we have the Ace of Cups. This could blossom in bloom into a really beautiful um love and relationship here they're ready look they got fruit they got the wand they got whatever else they're holding there they're all ready they're ready for this i'm hearing ready for love is that bad company i'm hearing that song wow so we got aries and sagittarius showing up here so that's how they're ready for you. They're, they're ready for you. Devil reverse, which means great energy there. Tower. So they're ready for the big shift here. And they're ready to take action. Boy, this person's ready. I don't see any toxic energy here, which is good. Page of Swords. They want to run, run in here and tell you. But they're holding back. Yeah. get. I keep getting that energy here. Four of Cups. Always thinking about you. Wow. All right. So let's see here. Um... Let's see what else they're feeling about you. <laughs> I'm kind of getting it all like right away. But let's see. And we have the rainbow here. Luck, expansion, growth, prosperity. All right. So we got the, a lot of water here too. You know, emotions, feelings, love. So let's see. And you are a water sign, Pisces. So although that card is Sag, but still the water represents Pisces. So let's see what else we need to know about how they're feeling for you. 
Delta. Ace of Wands. Exciting for this new beginning. Three of Cups. You know, this could be courting, dating, getting to know. But I feel like they're ready to take it to the next level already. I, I did say something about three dates. I don't feel third party here. I feel like maybe you've already... You've only been on maybe three dates, or you've only known them for three weeks, maybe three months. But I think that would be a little long. I'm, I'm thinking more like a newer. Aces are definitely new. Six of Wands. Wow, they really feely, feely, feel good and confident um, about this Ten of Swords. But they don't want to. I keep getting they don't want to ruin it with this Ten of Swords here. They're, uh, death, I don't feel like, oh, it's over, but I feel like they're ready to transform this into this exciting new beginning beyond the Three of Cups. Six of Wands, success, victory, accomplishment. Um, two of Cups. There's the soulmate union. They are definitely here. And you kind of have that big old Ace of Cups right there. King of Cups, they're ready to tell you because King Cups upright can be kind of holding back their love, emotions, feelings, reserved. That's Pisces and then the Hangman's Pisces. So, wow. They're ready for this cycle, the world right here. Definitely here. I want to kind of want to get one on the Ten of Swords because I'm not feeling like... That's usually about endings, but I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I'm, I'm feeling like they don't want to ruin a good thing. The moon, yeah, so they're kind of keeping their hidden, their deep feelings hidden right now. And that's another card of Pisces. Wow. Yeah, look at look at the Queen of Cups here. I mean, this is a moose, but kind of swimming underwater. When do you ever see a moose swimming underwater? And I always see this as someone drowning in their love and emotions. There's a lot of love here. Wow. They're ready to tell you the truth as well, the Queen of Swords. They need to let it all out here with the Ten of Wands reverse, letting go of all this that is kind of... Not weighing them down, but they're definitely really suppressed by this energy. And they just need to let it out and release it here. And move it forward here with the chariot. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah, so they have three of cups. But again, we got the ace up there. If you take the ace from the three, you get the two of cups again, which we did see, which is that soulmate energy here. So we got Pisces showing up here, um, Scorpio there. They're ready to transform this to the next level. Wow. Wow. Good for you, Pisces. Six of cups. So could be a past life connection here. All right. So can temperance be past life? All right, so let's see what their next move is going to be for you, Pisces. What is this person's next move for Pisces? Nine of Wands is struggling on how to do this. <laughs> They're struggling how to do this. Two of Swords are trying to make a decision here. Could be two weeks, two days. Strength, very strong connection for them. It cannot be denied. They like overcome their fear and just tell you. So it could be on, like on the next date I'm getting. So if you already have like a date set up, like a, a fourth date or a fifth date, whatever, I think they're going to tell you here. We do have seven. Uh, no, that's eight. So it could be like the eighth date maybe. Um, strong connection here cannot be denied. Strong, confident, brave. Past life. That's a past life card for me as well. Justice. Wow, soul contract energy. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order, things meant to be, past life, soul contract. And the Seven of Cups. Why oh, is that here? Hmm. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be, getting better, moving in the right direction. So they feel fate and destiny here. So, let's see, we have... A Let's see, we have uh, Libra, Leo. So they're gonna they're gonna want to move this forward. They are. So I feel like um I feel like I'm the next date. That's kind of what I feel the next date. They may kind of tell you how much they really like you. And 
they may ask to be more you know exclusive maybe still date but only be exclusive like not date anybody else so i don't know if you are like if it's very new and you're just dating and it's not like a committed relationship maybe you're both dating other people or maybe you know you're not and you're just saying you are they may ask to be exclusive like would you like to exclusively date you know and just see where it goes this person really really i think only wants to be with you pisces we have you all up in their energy here They're going to be brave and they're just going to put it out there seven of cups so it's you know a lot of options choices confusion uh, illusion but um why is that here they don't want to give any kind of illusion that yeah the fool see they want to jump right in here so wow so that's aquarius showing up now libra leo they're going to take that leap of faith and tell you because they don't want to leave any kind of illusion, confusion around this. They don't. Or th have you think there's other options. They're going to kind of want to tell you you're their only option. But yet, we can continue to date. But maybe let's just be exclusive for now and see where it goes. Because they definitely, definitely want more with you. Eight of Cups, King of Swords, Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. So they're definitely going to tell you the truth. Um, I don't see any like disappointing energy around this. But yet, I mean, they do have this fear that maybe you may say no because we'd have the Eight of Cups here, which can be a walking away um, as well. But they're just going to kind of put it out there. All right, so let's see. Let's see what they really, really want to tell you. Let's see what they really, really want to tell you right now for Pisces. What do they really want to tell Pisces at this time? Okay, those definitely wanted to come out. Let's see. Four of Wands. I could see myself marrying you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Huh. All right. Well, why is that there? It's almost like... Because the Eight of Pentacles can be about work, career, money, working hard. Um, I think what they're going to say is they're not going to let anything interfere with the connection. Not even work, nothing. Two of Wands, choosing a path here. They want to choose the path here. That would be the Six of Wands, which is right here. King of Swords are going to tell you the truth. Open, honest, that they're ready to start this cycle with you it's almost like they could see themselves traveling the world with you making plans with you um just very clear cut communication here with the king of swords there's no beating around the bush as well definitely the new cycle is right here two of wands so if we choose this path i'm all in won't let anything else interfere with this eight of pentacles is kind of what i'm feeling and the four of wands it's like they could really see themselves marrying you very committed, committed, dedicated kind of person. This is a firm foundation. It could be marriage, commitment, uh, moving in, around the home. This person could own their own home as well. Look at that. We got the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. So looking at each other. Definitely a match here. Seven of Wands, open, vulnerable. Knight of Pentacles, take it slow if we have to. Ace of Swords, so I don't think um, this big conversation's come up yet. A lot of thinking about this whole thing in you. Again, with the Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Five of Wands, no conflict with this. Fate, Destiny with the Wheel. Knight of Swords, so I mean, that can be the energy of things moving very, very fast. So if it moves fast, they're going to be happy, but if you want to take it slow, they're happy to do that as well. Hermit, you know. Even if you need time, space to think about it, they'll give you that too. But Six of Cups could be a past life connection here. Wow. Wow, Pisces. So we have Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. No, we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini as well. Wow. So let's see what else we need to know here. Messages of love for Pisces. Again, Pisces, everything you need to know is down below. And if it did resonate or you enjoy this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Support all your favorite readers because this platform certainly isn't or just there's a selective few. They pick and choose. And I support 
all my favorite readers I like, even if it don't resonate. I know it's for someone, but that's totally up to you. But I appreciate it, and I thank you. All right, Pisces. What else do we need to know, or what else do they want to say? Pisces. Past life love. Oh, my God. How many times did I say that? Oh, my God. Spirit confirming that. And it's fate. I said that, too. Awakening. Hmm. Maybe this person's going through some sort of awakening. I feel like you really woke them up, especially if they had not been um, dating in quite a while. It's like you are reawakened uh, love in their heart again. All right, let's see. New love. Yeah, I did feel like it was a newer love. Definitely here. Play hard. So a lot of good times coming in here. This does say make, uh, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Yeah. So a lot of happy, fun times. And then we also have soulmate. Oh, my God. Past life, love, fate, new love, soulmate. Wow. Wow. Um, all right. <clears throat> Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate again. Everything is below. I am wishing you the best, and I hope to see you next time.